time for another algebra lesson. This one is from the second pace in algebra, 1098. And we're going to look at pages 24 through 26 about story problems. Now, the story problems are actually introduced in the previous lesson, <clears throat> but they give a lot of clues and they kind of start the problem for you and then they let you just finish it. And uh, hopefully that wasn't too hard. It gets a little trickier on these pages 24 through 26. Um, although even on page 25, they give you some, some good tips there, okay, and some examples to follow. But I want to jump in and let's try to help you set up, okay? If you're having trouble, that's probably why you tuned into this video. And on page 26 at the top, problem number four, let's talk about how to set that one up, all right? And then we'll let you finish it. And then I'll help you set up number five, okay? And again, I'm not going to finish it for you, but I'll let you at least get going on it. So let's talk our way through this. Number four on page 26 <coughs> says... The sum of two numbers is 23. Twice the greater number added to three times the smaller number is 57. <laughs> Find the numbers. And most students at this point, and maybe even some of their parents who are not too math savvy, <clears throat> are looking at that and saying, ah! By the way, can you tell I got a haircut just recently? I'm actually, um, I lost so much hair, I feel like I'm kind of lightheaded, but I'll do my best to um, introduce this lesson. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> let's let one number, let's let the smaller number be X. <clears throat> All right. What would the other number have to be? We could call it the larger one, but what would the other one be? We know that X plus the next number have to equal 23 because it says the sum of the two numbers. Sum means addition. So since they have to add up to 23, we have to figure out what is that missing number. So we're letting this one be the first one. The second one is not 23 plus X because that would be an even bigger number. We're looking for a small number that added 2X would equal 23. So let's just play a mind game here. If I said 2 plus what equals seven, what would you do to get that missing number? You would take the seven, right, and subtract the two, and you'd get five, and that would be the number that you would fill in the blank. So here, I don't know what the number is, that's what we're setting this whole thing up to solve for, but I'm gonna use a quantity, so I'm gonna put it in parentheses, and we can call it 23 minus x, okay? So if x is 10, then the other number has to be 13. If this is 5, then the other number has to be 18. And the point is that when you add those two numbers together, you should get 23. All right, now let's see what else is said here. Twice the greater number. <clears throat> I guess I should also call this the greater number. All right, so 2 times that added to 3 times the smaller number is 57. All right, now really, really, really important. Hopefully by now you recognize that keyword is. Whenever you see the word is, that is equals, okay? So now let's go back and it says twice the greater number. So it's gonna be two and in parentheses, 23 minus x, okay? Twice the greater number added to three times the smaller number. And then it's to, we're told that that equals 57, okay? So I'm not going to solve this for you. I think we've set it up far enough. So you just distribute this out, keep, put your X's together, subtract the number from the other side, and you should easily be able to solve that. The important thing though is to see the steps we went through in order to set it up. Let's uh, just go a little ways on Number five, right? Uh-oh. Come on, Marker, don't give out on me now. The sum of two numbers is 55. So again, let's let the small number be x. So the large number is going to be, since they have to add up to 55, then this is going to be the quantity 
Are you thinking about it? Don't just wait for me to write it down. What would it be? They have to add up to 55, so it's not going to be x plus 55, right? Because then that would be even bigger. So we should write 55 minus x, okay? Let's see what we're doing with it. It says the greater number is 17 times the smaller number, okay? So the large number, 55 minus x, is, that means equals, 17 times the small number, which that's x, and then it says plus 1. Wow, we're done. Well, we're not done done, but we're as done as far as I'm going to take you, okay? So from here then, we have the equation. It's just a matter of putting it together to solve, okay? So when you see that word sum, you might think, oh, that's, the, that's addition. And yes, it is. It's the answer to an addition problem. But we often have to set it up as a subtraction quantity in order to get the term that we're going to plug in to the story problem. All right? So I'm going to stop this lesson right there. And I definitely need to do one about consecutive integers on the bottom of page 26.